Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue talking about OneDrive for Business. I've reached that by going into the Start button in Office 365 and then clicking on OneDrive. As you notice, there are a few default folders here, but you can of course create new folders also by clicking this New button and just creating new folder there. By default, all these folders are private only to me. So if I create a new one here called Long term plans that's going to be by default shared only with me as you see here but of course i can go in and share that to, to other people by clicking here on share and then i can either just select some people or i can just type in everyone and make it public to everyone and the default permission is that people can actually edit your files you might not want that but you can just give them view permissions. So there you see the long term plan is shared with everyone. But if I click on that everyone, I'll see that there are everyone can view. So to upload documents into a folder here, I can click on that folder and then just drag and drop my files. So I'll just go into my documents here. And then I'll just drag and drop some files here. So let's see, these files are long-term plans. I can just drag them out there. So that works just as any other library in SharePoint, just uploading the files. However, there are lots of other things that don't work as a usual SharePoint document library. For example, you can't put any metadata you can't like documents you can't tag them in any way and you can't create your own views in the default document library of your onedrive so that's a rather serious limitation and a later demo i'll show you how to get around that there are no library settings on this document library so it's a special document library and in this case i just showed you how to upload documents in a bunch but of course you can upload one single document too that works exactly the same as in any other document library i'll share this gustav vasa document here and just uploading that of course you can also work with your OneDrive from your computer. So let's say you started a PowerPoint project here and you wanna do something nice with that. Do use that organic template. And now when I wanna save, you go file, save as, you'll notice that one of my icons here is the sites that I've been working on before. Another one is my OneDrive Calmstrom demo which is my OneDrive for business. I also have an icon here for OneDrive which is not the OneDrive for business. It's not connected to my Office 365 in any way, but that's connected to my Microsoft account. So this is the one I wanna use, of course. And if I browse there, you'll notice that I get a save dialog and that's gonna show me the folders in my OneDrive for business. There you go, same thing there. So I'll just do my long-term plans there. So now, of course, it's uploading that to my SharePoint based OneDrive for business folder. So in a few seconds, that should be up here. And if I refresh this page here, I get that 10 year plan. Of course, you do have some of the features of SharePoint, such as the version history that's enabled by default in your document library called OneDrive for business also. So that concludes my second demo on OneDrive for business. Thank you for watching.